Connect series, input settings. So I'm already connected to this amplifier and I've got the web UI pulled up in my browser here on my computer. Uh, so if we click on this amplifier here, the very first setting up here is for the input. So once I'm selected on this, you see you've got uh, the same input settings for all the channels on the amplifier. So this is a 704D. So if you go into first channel here, you'll see primary input. Uh, here you've got a full level attenuator for the primary input. Uh, you can also bump this up and down with these arrows uh, left and right of the slider. You can select the input you want here, and this is a full input uh, routable matrix. So you can select any of the inputs, both analog and Dante, as well as the ability to sum those pairs and select whatever you want on any channel. So let's just leave this on analog one. When they're set to analog, you also have sensitivity settings. So you can set any of the analog inputs to either 26 or 34 dB. You've also got a secondary input here with the same, it's got its own level attenuation. Uh, another matrix, you can select any of the inputs here. So let's just select Dante, for example. And those will now show up. So on the right side here, you've got your in. There's a level meter here for both your primary and your secondary inputs. A clip indication across the top. And now you've also got a level indication here for the output with a clip indicator at the top of that as well. So if we scroll down here, there's an override mode section. In this section, you can select between two different modes for having primary and secondary signals take over from each other. In the first mode here, auto override primary input, what this does is say you've got background music playing on your analog here. That'll play all day long until something comes in on the secondary input. So say you've got a paging system and you've got that microphone paging system coming through on Dante channel one. So once that signal is detected, it'll take over and play the primary signal until that signal disappears. Then it will kick back over uh, to the primary signal and you're back to playing your, your background music. In the second option here, signal sensing override, this is more of a traditional backup scenario. So say we're running signal on primary and it, it gets lost. The device crashes, whatever happens, you lose signal on the primary. Well, it'll then instantly kick over to your backup on the secondary. So more of a traditional uh, primary and secondary as kind of a backup failover mode.